Gemini, thank you so much for being here with me today for your soulmate reading, okay? You know the drill. If it's not your story, just leave, okay? Don't get offended. Don't send mean comments. You don't need to dislike. Uh, it's Mercury retrograde, Gemini season. A lot of people have been really intense in the comments, so listen. <laughs> I'm trying to stay positive, but oof, there's some days, guys. It's it's been intense. So please be nice in the comments. Please send your love. Uh, this is a free reading. I'm putting all my energy into it. So yeah, just be respectful. Okay, Gemini. Let's see what is the energy that connects you and your soulmate. What is happening with Gemini and love? Okay, we have three cards here. Beautiful. Gemini energy. Communication is key. This is Gemini season. The new moon in Gemini will be happening in a couple days, by the way. So beautiful time to uh, reflect, journal on what we want and what we want to release. New moon is a lot about releasing. You are good enough. Gemini, you know that shit, okay? Repeat it to yourself, even if you already know. And don't let your pride get in the way, Leo. So there's a lot of releasing, a lot of freaking releasing happening for you, my love. Uh, as you release the past, new beginnings are starting. I think that you're going through a lot right now. First of all, happy birthday. Um, yeah, I think that you're putting yourself first feeling like you want to explore your sensuality, explore new relationship. Uh, we'll see what the tarot has to say, but definitely a powerful, powerful time for you. If you love to manifest, if you love to do any type of magic work, and you know, you don't have to, but the new moon coming in a couple of days will be really powerful for you, okay? Time to write journal and burn that shit to release it this is i don't know if you've ever done it but this is the most powerful way that you can practice magic okay uh i love that really happy for you okay let's see let's see what is what it's all about gemini in love tell me what's happening for gemini in love Ooh. okay so we have oh my goodness guys a brand new beginning Literally, as you are closing the door of the past, okay, um, and seeing the communication card here, you might be communicating with someone new online. It could be an earth sign, doesn't have to. It could be just someone who, um, by getting to know you, they're planting a seed and things are, are expanding intensely, to be honest. Uh, you're going to have someone coming your way, okay? Because the Ace of Pentacles is like a gift from the universe. And the way it expands, it's all about how you receive it, okay? So this person might be different from your usual type. And you might give them a chance, okay? You might be communicating with them online. Also, it could be, you know, uh, the other way around. You're like, oh my God, is this person really interested in me? And Gemini, like, we all know you guys are super confident, uh, great communicator, literally the best communicator out there. Just, I feel like you seduce people with your mind all the time, no matter how good looking you are. And I do feel like someone is really attracted to that. Okay. So these are two cards of fertility, especially the queen of pentacles. Fertility doesn't mean necessarily that you want to have kids. It's not about that. It's about a seed has been planted we started something new and things are expanding okay so let's see let's see what it's all about okay we have the two of swords so you might be undecisive you might be you know asking yourself do i want to be single right now do i want to be in a relationship is this person good enough for me um and see, we have the card, you are good enough. Also, Virgo energy really fitting with the Two of Swords because it's like, do I want to give this person my time and energy? Is it worth it? You're, you're just intelligent. You're asking yourself a bunch of questions. And I feel like right now, especially during Mercury retrograde, during Gemini season, your intuition is through the roof. 
literally. So you're trying to listen to what your, you know, your brain is telling you, but there is a soul calling. It's like you're a little bit confused between what you want and what you need. And that's just totally normal, you know, we're human beings. Give me one more. Okay, listen. The it's like you're communicating nonstop with someone that really care about you. I don't know if you care about them, but this person really likes you, okay? The first time they saw your picture, they saw you or they communicated, it was like Cupid's arrow. Just freaking pew. This person really likes you. I have goosebumps right now. It's like they're waiting by their phone for you to text them, literally. And I think that you might be taking your time on your side. You're like, I don't want to rush anything because you know your worth. Because you know that this person will be incredibly lucky to have you in your life. Uh, in their life. And also you close cycles recently because we're starting with the Ace of Pentacles. So before that, in your recent past, chances are you've been through a lot of shit. Yeah, devil energy. You've been through a lot. You might have been through, you know, energies of people not using you for sex. I don't want to say it like that, but like, you know, relationship where it was more sexual, it was more for fun. Maybe you were looking for true love and the other person was like, no, I, I don't want anything serious or vice versa. It could be you, okay? So you're moving out of this energy. With this new person, you're going to be able to be in alignment with devil energy. And being in alignment with devil energy is being able to indulge in sex and fun uh, without going in extreme. So this is someone who is really balanced. They are really balanced. They are not here to mess around. They want long-term stability, okay? They want a forever kind of love. Strain card is one of the strongest card, in my opinion, for love, okay? This person is putting all their energy and bravery... <sighs> Like, they're really using their bravery to try to tell you how they feel about you. I do feel like you're, they're a little bit intimidated by you. And see, we have the Ace of Cups off, at the bottom of the deck. Brand new beginning in love. And I, I'm going to be honest, I don't feel like this person is the, the only new beginning in your life. You might have been uh, thinking about changing job, changing location, uh, moving, you know, there's... A lot of things keeping you busy mentally and physically. And now this new person comes in and you're like, okay, do I have the time? Am I available spiritually, physically, mentally for this person? Is it worth it? A lot of questioning happening. A lot of questioning, okay? And that's totally fine. You can take your time. You don't need to rush in if it doesn't feel comfortable. But I do feel like this person is worth it. It's someone that you will be able to explore your sexuality, have fun with. Um, yeah, I really like this person's energy, to be honest. I'm, they might be a little intense. Like I said, kind of someone waiting by the phone for you to text them or communicate with them because they really like you. They're really attracted to you. Every time you talk to them, you make them feel good, okay? Three of Cups, yeah. This is the kind of person that will really get along with your friends. They will be like a part of the squad when you start dating them. If you do, you know, if you decide that it's good for you. Ace of Pentacles, let's start clarifying. You have the Chariot. So again, confirming that this person, they're, they're trying to be... Good. They, they want you to know that they are good enough for you and they might not be the most, you know, confident person, but they are working on that. They don't want you to see when they have a bad day, okay? They're really inspired by how confident you are, about how intelligent you are, and you are helping them communicate, definitely. This is someone who's been through a lot, They've been through a lot, okay? They have a tender side, but they don't want to show it. They don't want to show it. See? 
King of Pentacles came out of the deck with the Queen of Pentacles. When I'm saying that there's potential for a long-lasting love, the King and Queen of Pentacles on top of each other, it doesn't get any, you know, this is luck. In love, a stable, long-term relationship that could be changing your life forever. A perfect duo meeting. And even if this person is super different, they could be really different from you, okay? Um, it could be an earth sign, a fire sign. It doesn't have to, but it's like you're feeling the potential. The more and more you talk to them, you're feeling the potential that there's here, okay? Two of swords. Two of swords. Why am I feeling like someone is like super mysterious? I don't know why. This is the word I'm hearing. Mysterious. Someone doesn't want to open too much and too fast. Really careful. It could be you, Gemini, being really careful. Two of swords. Okay, we have the four of pentacles. <laughs> when we're talking about being careful. You're like, am I available physically and emotionally? Okay, maybe in the past you had people taking advantage of you, taking advantage of your money, of your time. And you're maybe you're scared of that. Maybe you're, I'm going to be honest, I feel like some of you are thinking that people would only love you for your money and for the way you look. But you are lovable. You have so much more than that. You have a lot to offer. And I think you're slowly opening up your heart to, you know, the fact that, hey, I have a lot more to offer. And it's not everyone who is bad and wants to take advantage of me, okay? See, Ten of Cups. Potential for a happy ending, for a long-term commitment, for pure happiness, okay? And this is all because you're starting to communicate with someone. And maybe you don't even know. Maybe you don't even know. See, we have the fool that came out of the deck. Listen to your soul. Don't use... Don't try to be strategic when it comes to this person. Don't, you know, it's not time to play games. It's not time to calculate and try to compare them to other people. Listen to your soul. Your soul is telling you that this person is worth it, literally. And I think that they're going to be proving it to you. Strength card. Let's clarify the strength card for Gemini. Give me clarity. Yeah. We have the Four of Cups. So another card of, this is three cards of, am I available? Do I want to open up to this person? Love is not a race. It's not because you say no that you're going to miss out on opportunities. I really feel like I'm talking to a Gemini who is considering like, should I be single? Should I enjoy myself and not be in a serious commitment? And another side of you is like, I want to be love. I want long-term commitment, okay? Take your time. There is no rush here. If you decide to say no or say to this person like, okay, calm down. I'm not in a rush. You're not going to miss out on an opportunity. By being clear with your boundaries, you will see who is really there for you, who is willing to wait, who is willing to build something solid through time. Um, again, it's not a race. It's okay to enjoy the moment, be passionate, and not focus on, okay, what are we going to do in 10 years? What are we going to do uh, with our relationship? I feel like this is telling you to go with the flow and to really check in with yourself. Is that situation in alignment with you? Is this what you really want? Is it your ego wanting to be loved? Or is it really because this person is special? Because there is huge potential here, okay? So you decide at the end of the day, Gemini. I think that it's a good time to communicate, to get to know that person, to take your time, if you feel like you want to take your time, okay? But I feel like the seed has been planted. They're thinking about you a lot, and chances are you're thinking about them a lot too. So tremendous potential it is just a question of, are you open to that? Okay, Gemini? So thank you for being here. Let me know if you relate in any way to that reading. Um, make sure to like this video. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a couple of days.